Rain Access Solutions. Hi, I'm Glenn of Rain Access Solutions. Welcome to my vlog. On this episode of Rain Access Solutions, I'm going to show you my new HDMI video capture with loop out. I bought it from Lazada for around 424 pesos and this is the cheapest among the video capture card out there. The reason why I bought this is that I'm planning to connect it to my Yizen microscope so I'll be able to record the video while I'm working on a device that I'm repairing or I'm doing a soldering which I want to blow up on the screen so you can see guys what I'm doing. Sadly it did not come with an HDMI cable or an HDMI to VGA converter so I bought them separately. This is the HDMI cable that I'm talking about. It's just a regular HDMI cable and the size is 1.5 meter and I'm just going to use this for connecting my Yeezen microscope to this uh, video capture card. This is the HDMI to VGA converter that I'm talking about. It cost around 150 something from Lazada. And this is the video card uh, with loop out. And it's really small. It will not take a huge space from your desk if you use it. You can see that it has a USB input and an HDMI port for loop out or output. You have the HDMI port for input and a five volt DC port for powering up the device. I'm going to connect the HDMI cable to its HDMI in port. The other end of this HDMI cable will connect directly to the top of my Yizen microscope. I'm going to connect the HDMI to VGA converter to its HDMI loop out. This connection will go straight to my VGA selector and it will go straight to my extra monitor so I can view what I'm working on at real time. I'm now going to unplug my old VGA connector that connects my Yeezen directly to the VGA selector. And I'm going to connect this now to the HDMI to VGA converter. As you can see, this VGA cable is directly connected to my VGA selector. Let's connect this to our HDMI to VGA converter. This video capture card comes with a USB cable with a USB 2 connector at both ends. Now I'm going to plug the other end of this USB cable to the USB port of the video capture card and the other end of it will be connected to my laptop. This is how simple it is to set it up. Now all we have to do later is select our microscope from our VGA selector. This video capture card will not work if there's no power supplying it. Now I'm gonna use my micro USB to connect this device to my power schematic power supply. As soon as I power the device up, you can right away see the output on the extra monitor that is in front of me. This is a real time view so there is no delay between what you're working on and what you're seeing on the screen. Now all we need to do now is configure the laptop to see what we're seeing on the external screen. This will all be made possible with the use of the OBS software. Here we can see that I have a live video feed going to my laptop 
and another live video feed going to my external monitor. As I move the object under my Yeezon microscope, we can see that the external monitor connected to the HDMI loop out is getting the real-time view, which means it doesn't have any delay. This is my Yeezon microscope and it's connected directly to the video capture card using this HDMI cable. And it is connecting to the HDMI input of the HDMI video capture card with loop. The 5 volt connector that is supplying power to this video capture card is connected to the TC 5 volt port. And the other end of it is connected to my product schematic power supply. This video capture card is connected to my laptop using the USB cable which has two USB cable port at both ends the other end of which is connected directly to my laptop's USB port I connected my HDMI to VGA adapter to the HDMI loop out and this is connected to a VGA cable that connects to the VGA selector this VGA selector has two input. One is from a computer and one is from this VGA capture card. Now I can select between the video capture card and my computer display. The live feed going to my external monitor is in real-time view, but the live feed going to my laptop has a fraction of a second delay. I'm now recording it for testing purposes. Let me show you how to set up the video capture card to our OBS software in my laptop. I'm going to delete the feed first. Click on the plus sign icon and select the video capture device. This will bring you to this screen. Select OK. And it will show you a live feed by default coming from your laptop's webcam camera. You need to select the USB video from the device. There you go, that's how simple it is to configure your video capture device to OBS software. It's plug and play and you don't need a driver for that. Now here's the actual footage of the videos coming from my mobile phone's camera and from the videos I recorded using the OBS software. The zoomed in video of the components on a logic board that we are seeing here is the video that I recorded using the OBS software. You can see that there is a delay on its movement when I move the logic board underneath the microscope camera. Despite the myriad of delays that you are seeing here, I still find it very useful as a recording mechanism for me to show you what I'm working on under the Yeezon microscope.
now I can say that I'm able to show you the footages of videos while I'm working on or testing components on the logic board with good clarity. I can also do the same with my previous LED microscope which record videos to a micro USD card but its live view has a fraction of delay similar to what our OBS software is seeing. So it's very hard to do soldering under that LED microscope. This is the reason why I bought the new Nissan microscope to upgrade. So guys, if you're gonna ask me if it's worth to buy this video capture card, yes it is, especially if your microscope doesn't have the capability to record videos that it's seeing, then this cheap video capture card is good for you. Alright guys, if you find this video useful, please subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day everyone. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.